Miss McGee, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Hey there folks, John Henry from JohnHenry.us. Welcome to another edition of Too Long Didn't Read. Today we are going to talk about divisiveness. And you hear a lot of people making accusations in the political sphere about how this person is divisive or that person is divisive. And this is usually an attack that comes from either someone trying to portray themselves as a moderate centrist or someone on the right. Let me be absolutely clear. The right wing and their plutocrat fascist owners have made it clear that they are not interested in participating in a society that does not operate to their benefit, to their advantage, and on their terms. They refuse. We've done everything we could to be nice and polite and ask. These people will not allow humanity to evolve into the peaceful and prosperous and beautiful future that is all of our birthright because they don't want to lose their personal power. These are not people who are allowed the privilege of criticizing my divisiveness. They are not people who have the privilege of insisting that someone should treat them with dignity and respect and come sit at a table of reasonable negotiation. You had your chance. You're killing us. So when somebody comes at me talking about how divisive I am, what I need for you to do is first come at me and tell me how you're going to solve the problem of a huge chunk of this country, and not just this country, it's the United States, it's Saudi Arabia, it's Canada, it's Russia, Iraq, Vietnam, China, it doesn't matter. It happens all over the world because fascism is all over the world. Greed is all over the world. Plutocracy is all over the world. It has to stop. It's killing us. These people are standing in the way of the future that belongs to all of us. So I don't want to hear about divisiveness. Have a good night.